Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the second channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be carrying on with our grind. So it took a few days of break off of most things. So we're kind of back with it on Monday. So uh, as you can see, not really too much progress on our account at the moment. But we do have some free stuff in the store, of course, whenever it's around Christmas time. All stars are pretty generous with a bunch of their credits and whatever else. So we're about halfway already to the Leon, which I think by most calculations should be able to get him. Uh, by if not like one or two months which would be pretty nice and then we'll basically have every single ruler on the account as possible because as i said like, we only need leon and meg which is pretty cool so before we jump into it as always make sure you're using the credit code that'd be greatly appreciated and without further ado let's jump right into it all right guys jumping into the first again and so ban is underway in terms of who would want to face off against probably is buster on this where's buster nice we can just ban buster i don't really care Right now, I just hate facing that brawler. It's probably the one brawler that frustrates me the most. So I'm probably going to ban it every single time. And if you've not seen it already, if you've not seen my Twitter and YouTube is short. How amazing is the Brawl Stars background, by the way, background music? It's absolutely fire. It's just so good. It's probably my favorite one so far. Constantly jamming out to it at the moment. So fortunately, we have a first pick gene on our hands. Hopefully, he swaps that star power over. Else, yeah, he's... Pretty damn bad. I don't really want him using the spirit slap. That would be pretty atrocious. So in terms of picks then, uh, who can we choose this time around? So Max definitely a valid option for them. They go with a bow as well. I mean, Carl could be a great option. Definitely couldn't go Grom against Max. Uh, I mean, Spike is actually making a bit of a comeback in the meta. I've seen him used a lot in Brubble League. So I actually think he's actually a, a solid option right now. Uh, but in terms of brothers who I should go, maybe a Pam could be somewhat decent on this map in general. I'm thinking either Pam, Spike, or even a Cole. But then again, they've got last pick. I don't want to get fully hard counters. So I'm going to go with a Pam. Something a little bit more spicy and a little bit more off meta. Even though I haven't got like, the greatest matchup against the bow, I just think it'd be pretty fun to go a Pam. And unfortunately, yeah, you haven't seen it because of that black screen. But we haven't got... Ah, the speed gear that's one thing i need to start buying on a lot of these brawlers because especially when you've got a power 10 brawler there's no more like, there isn't a more valuable gear than the speed gear you need it every single time on a more grassy map so yeah i'm gonna try and take control of the left hand side a good pam can pretty much win every single match it just depends on how you play it of course so this max already looking to try and feed their super off of me but i'm doing a good job of uh, winning my matchup so far then that's gonna be max pretty much one shot if not dead right there and hopefully is my teammate yes nice again my teammate has switched over star powers i was about to say i would have been pretty cheesed if he would have stayed onto that other star power so getting close to our super right here we can start to go a lot more aggressive once we do get it our teammates are getting absolutely stomped on over there so we're going to use our stop or well, stop our, our super and gadget right there to win our lane again so so far Doing a pretty decent job. Bo's going to go down as well. And we're fully carrying our team. Unfortunately, Lolo's having a really bad time against this Penny. I haven't really been focusing, so not too sure what is going on over that side. Again, another black screen. We're going to have to try and fix this after the game. Uh, but we've got some good pressure here. So I'm going to continue on with pressuring down this lane. Looks like Max is still really, really weak. So again, just going to continue on pushing as much as possible here. Max again, so weak. And we've got the whole team pushing us right there uh, it's just so unfortunate i was hoping my team could at least do something this round i've got to say we played it pretty well maybe a little bit more pressure on the mid would have been better but we played it as best as we possibly could so max is going to go down there we've got a penny maybe we can get a pull on the penny in time uh, gene's going to go for the bow instead and maybe we can actually make a uh, round win right here so we're going to use our gadget to try and give us a little bit of time we're getting close to our super but unfortunately we just can't get back in time ah, i don't know if i could play that better i tried my hardest i tried to use everything possible i really thought we could have got away there but yeah a little bit unfortunate we're getting close to super here maybe we, we can make a little bit of a comeback we're going to use our super to not tank the penny shot but give us a little bit more hp that's going to be penny dead though but i just don't see how we're going to get these gems out of spawn max is going to be pretty weak again here and just me left in the enemy spawn maybe again i can use this turret to me up max is so weak maybe we can ma get max down that is max down and i don't know how have we not got these gems out of spawn we're trying our hardest here thick pam is just tanking 
literally everything again this bow looking to go pretty weak we're just going to try and kill max but yeah there's just no chance we've we've given it all right here that is actually a pretty good game because that was full of like controversy or well, not controversy full of um thrills for them not for me i didn't manage to win right there so maybe we need to switch the match up again i don't know how lola didn't have uh, i don't know a little bit more pressure down that left hand side but i guess because she's losing it so bad i've got to go down that penny lane now and i guess i'm probably going to get absolutely screwed over by this penny so yeah penny gonna have a easy job of probably taking me down so now i'm just gonna pressure as much as possible penny's got her turret already and i can see how it's actually pretty hard to push her down that lane right there yeah i'm just doing exactly what <laughs> i said i hated last time around so again i just need a really well timed gadget against this penny and we should be good to go getting close to our super right here that's all we kind of need to push up she's probably going to push up here we're going to remove all of our ammo and maybe we can make the play right here that's going to be penny down that is fantastic she wastes her super as well time to heal up a little bit here maybe we can make another play to remove all of her ammo we're going to use it right here just for a little bit of pressure but again we're just getting pinched out too much maybe i can keep the pressure up top here we're going to eventually get taken down by the penny but it was pretty decent it was pretty decent overall i just feel like it's so hard to uh win that penny matchup sometimes if they play it uh right with that gadget so again going to continue pushing up as much as possible she's using the walls really well to her advantage right here Let's see if gene can hit a clutch pull in time i'm just going to push up as much as possible let's see if i can catch any of these guys off guard penny definitely thinks i'm coming up close right here she's probably right inside of her turret and that's exactly why i didn't want to just pre-fire i knew she would probably be in and around her turret right there so i mean it was a bit of a misplay just popping the gadget anyway but that's why i didn't uh, just spray randomly by the way i tried to get as much value as possible so penny i don't believe has any gadgets left which might be okay i'm not really doing too much inside of this game and that's going to be countdown on their side of things so again it's going to pop this uh turret down just to give me a little bit more healing that's going to be the max going in here I'm not too sure why the max is actually going in i'm going to try and steal a few gems actually i need to steal more than a few gems to stop the countdown there's going to be seven gems on our side and i think we might actually have enough time to uh get these gems in the middle so let's try and get these oh mines down right here yeah i think we've got enough time to equal it unless they've got a uh, gem in the background gene's doing a good job of pre pressuring and that's going to be the 10th gem going our way so using our turret to get a little bit of pressure that's going to be penny going pretty low but that's going to be someone else going pretty low on their side of things yeah we just need to keep this mid control as much as possible gene i don't know what this gene is doing to be honest he's kind of just spraying out random shots uh, <laughs> everywhere i don't know how this countdown is still going on trying to heal up as much as possible here we've got a penny pushing we've got a bow pushing up both of them getting me pretty weak but that's going to be them pretty weak if not dead gene i don't know what's happening right here i'm focused so much on my game everyone's just going down and eventually my load is going to go down i i don't know i feel like i was 1v3 right there towards the end just picking up every single gem possible tanking everything but we're going to lose i think we're literally one game off of legendary 2 which is really unfortunate but that's going to be the first game of the day let's hop into the next one. all right guys jumping into the next game and so hopefully this time around we can have a little bit of a better matchup again i didn't really play the best in that second round but as the game kind of went on i felt like my teammates just were completely rushing things i have no idea what was going on that would have been pretty fun to commentate uh over but now we have bells rock so chester i mean chester's pretty good over right now definitely a top five ruler within the meta but in terms of this map i think this is probably more so one of his weaker ones because you want a map which you can go pretty aggressive on of course you don't really do too much damage with the first and second sequence so yeah that's one thing to bear in mind but i think this is actually going to be a pretty good pick overall here all things considered they do have a throw of those so maybe we can go a throw of our own yeah yeah tick band so we haven't really got anyone so we'll go with a gus gus really strong in knockout by the way this is one of his best uh game modes for sure and actually good damage or i think shield shield's probably a little bit better in a knockout but if we're kind of ranking on uh in terms of like the more passive support uh maps gus is probably like a top three brawl in the game but all things considered i feel like he's just not the strongest in every single game mode and maps that's why i did rank him a little bit lower on my rankings but god when he has his match when he when he's in knockout when he's in alt zone he's like the best brawler he's so so hard to defeat uh once he starts cycling his ghosts and his uh super so 
hopefully these guys don't go anything too aggressive considering we've got a gust and a sprout and we go with a stew very weird choice considering we've got a lot of range right here we've got a uh, gust who can outrange we've got sprout who definitely outranges and can uh or cannot feed super and this guy's asking to swap but i think my sprout's like power nine so i don't want to risk swapping i don't know why he suggested that one so let's just keep it right here so yeah sprout surely going to go down the middle going to go down the left and hopefully against the stew okay nice we can just again keep our distance against the stew and hopefully start building up our super and our little ghost right here so we're getting stew pretty weak right here again it's just all about pressure we just don't want to be folded into spawn by the stew so just keeping our distance as much as possible that's gonna be another tap and we're gonna get pretty close to our ghost right here so if this uh, spike allows us to hit one more shot we can just kill him so that's gonna be stew dead right there and that's why i love this brawler in knockout it's just so easy to confirm kills especially when a squishy brawlers like these guys just a couple of taps and a gadget and they're dead so that's gonna be spike dead there's no reason to use my super right here that's why i'm just holding it on and now into the second round still two gadgets still a super to hand we're looking pretty good looking pretty good so as long as again we don't feed that stew we're vibing right now it's definitely a bit of a troll pick from him so now we have our super to hand. We can start to go a little bit more aggressive. Just the stew left. who's literally one shot. I'm just going to tank this. Uh, I don't even know. Uh, there's Tickhead. I don't know why I really did that, to be honest. <laughs> Nearly threw us the game. But we should be able to win this one with Chester going in. So that's going to be the first round going to us. Yeah, I was, com I was, I was dumbfounded by why I did that. Why did I just run straight in? Probably I didn't have uh, any other option anyways. But uh, that was pretty scary. So again, uh, looking pretty good overall. I feel like... A tick and a spike should be able to deal with a chest to be honest on this map I, I don't know how this guy is doing such a great job but he is overall uh looks like spike is going down this uh my side instead i don't think it's really going to help him i kind of feel sorry for uh the the opponents really for, like spike on knockout is terrible i don't know why people tend to pick it all of the time he just isn't that brawler on this game mode that's going to be another easy round right here so kind of doing the opposite of last game at least we're getting some elo back we lost a lot of elo so I'll take it. I'll take these easy handouts. So just one round away from getting the fastest sweep possible. We haven't even got our ghosts built up whatsoever here. We've got to pop our super bow because we're getting a lot of pressure. That looks like Sprout is going to be able to tap pretty easily here. Should be able to get the final blow onto Stu. Fortunately, get taken down. This might be a round win for these guys, honestly, unless Sprout can hit a clutch uh, shot right there, which he does. Chester is probably dead this spike really needs to push up uh this sprout needs to push up to help him uh with that matchup spike one shot that should be the kill and that's going to be the entire game so just a really fast one right there only four minutes worth of gameplay we just run through them a lot of elo back on our side let's hop into the final game. all right guys jumping into the final game then so it looks like we have a ring of fire with a lot of the same old bands you know b chester buster I, I think I'm one of the few people that just bans Buster all the time. I don't know. Let me know what your go-to ban is pretty much everywhere. I just think I just can't be bothered to face off against a Buster. So, yeah, I just never want to see him in play whatsoever. So now we have our final pick. They have a Piper Crow Tara, which might be a little bit annoying to face off against. Uh, Max would be okay. But then again, they have to Crow. We need something to counter that Piper, though. Not too sure whether that's... Um, going to be max maybe max will be okay uh you know what i'm gonna go bell uh instead oh no we're stuck on a lane brawler i just realized i got bow on my team that could be a little bit of a bad mistake i don't know what i'm really doing there but then again ring of fire you only really need uh one lane brawler and two mids so maybe it can work out in our favor we'll see i i, I don't know i just i wasn't concentrating whatsoever there so ring of fire actually one of my favorite hot zone maps now you know back in the day Used to be by far one of our worst ones you know we had the tribe treatment multiple times getting like one percent on this map so yeah especially against crow crow is literally my kryptonite on this map so we should be able to take piper down pretty easily right here and that's what i'm talking about you can just double stack right here i know crow is going to be pushing up but as long as we can auto aim him down which we're able to we should be able to keep some more controls so piper is going to take us down but you know that crow poison was annoying me anyways by the time the crow poison would have stopped and um me healing up you know i may as well just die to heal up faster yeah elite strategies right there but piper is uh pretty damn bad at the moment getting tapped pretty easily we're gonna use the mark on her right there we are 
going to miss that one. And again, like, uh, you guys know my voice cracks, but it's still, my voice still isn't fixed somehow from like a month of, I don't know, like a month of being sick. It's eventually it will get fixed one day. I hope so. So, yeah, we can push up right here. Normally, I don't push up as a sniper, but we're just in such a great position. We can probably afford to. We're actually missing quite a few shots right here. We're going to use a slow on Crow right here. He's literally one shot. I'm just going to back off. Hopefully, oh, no. I think he's got a brand new Mythic gear because that is a lot of damage right there. I did say on one of my videos as well that Mythic gear isn't that good, but well, maybe it is a little bit underrated. It does help with the damage, which he sometimes lacks. So, I think Tara... Okay, Tara has super right there. Somehow doesn't hit the uh, pull on me. These guys are doing a really good job of locking us down and spawning. This is the most to thing toxic thing about Ring of Fire. If you can get double positioning, it's so incredibly hard. But you've got to be really patient and not rush it. Uh, which, again, is pretty hard to do. So, we're going to jump in here and get so much pressure. He's actually going to get another kill. And what looked like a really easy game is quickly turned into... An incredibly tough game to win right here. So Pipe's going to get some taps onto me. And that's pretty much GG. Again, we're literally dominating so easily from start to finish. Maybe we can mount a little bit of a comeback right here. That's going to be Piper and Crow down. So, okay, maybe I, uh, I, I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. Maybe we can get a bit of a comeback. We've got Crow pushing in here. We don't really want to feed Crow any super because that's definitely some comeback potential. Crow going to get tapped right here. Piper is definitely lurking in those bushes. We have a little bit of percentage left. We just got to juke our uh, lives out right here. We're going to put a mock onto the Tara. That's going to be Tara taken down. But unfortunately, a Crow Jump and a Tara Super is going to be the end of us. That is such a big rip. I thought we were going to come back, but that's what I'm talking about with Crow. That's why he's like the best brawler in some hot zone maps. He's so, it's so easy to get control with him. So easy just to jump onto so many opponents and get a kill. Get slows and whatever else. So... Yeah, going into the next game and we just can't allow the uh, Tara specifically to get in behind. We can pinch out a crow, but we can't let Tara get in behind. So we're actually swapping matchups right here, which may be a little bit better, but the bell down the lane isn't the best. I don't think Bo should have pushed up as much there, but hey ho, let's see. Okay, those pets are eventually taken down right there. Tara, we're gonna try and help our Bo pinch Tara out. Somehow we get the kill onto Tara right here. We get a good few jukes as well. And yeah, they're definitely winning in terms of percentage so far. Hopefully Tara, uh, Amber can get a kill right there. That's a great kill. Tara was super. That's going to be the bow mines taking her down. And now we can start to put some traps down, some bow mines down, and hopefully win this game. So Crow going to be pretty weak. Take it down eventually. That's going to be the mark onto Piper. Definitely can't let this Tara get him behind. Again, those supers are so hard to push out of. She's going to hit the pull onto me, but I don't think that's going to get her the kill. That's going to be her literally one shot. Hopefully me and this bow can pinch this Tara out. Okay, that's going to be Tara one shot. Nice. Oh, how has that killed a Tara? Oh, no. That might be the... Oh, no. That might be the reason why we lose this one. Literally 17 HP. I thought the super would get the kill onto her. That is a massive rip. Crow going to be pretty weak right here. Tara still has pets, which do counter me. Okay, I'm missing a lot of shots right here. Okay, the pets are going to really take care of my ammo crow gonna be going down as well and again i kind of choked that that's two situations where i really could have got the kill on tara and she's staying alive and just clutching up for a team Let's see if we can get the kill on to her eventually gonna be her taken down uh, okay we're just we're just down bad right now i really don't want to lose this game especially like i want to at least win one round right because so much elo is lost when you lose two in a row so piper uh let's get some taps onto crow right here tara's just gonna run into mid the thing is once she runs out of pets she should be literally useless so we need to make use of that right now crow's gonna jump in onto our bow it's gonna be crow taken down doesn't actually hit the slow onto me which is pretty good get some taps onto the piper right there it's gonna be three taps onto her and finally we're warming up never too late to warm up and get some taps in our team definitely need me to start hitting those taps so tara again uh, she'll be just a free kill every single time she walks up the map, especially without those pets. She's probably lurking to Super Bowl, so I'm scared of that one. Crow's going to be jumping in, and I need to hit this kill on Piper. That's going to be me taken down. Hopefully, my teammates can run up in time. Surely, they have to match up right here, and with just a few percentage in it, we really need to get into that zone as quickly as possible. Tara does get the double pull, and that's an L. 
How was that an L? I have no idea how we've just lost that game. Tora Supers. I mean, Tora used to be meta on here like a year ago. And somehow she just completely carries. I don't know. So a lot of that was actually on me. Unfortunately, there was some periods where I tapped. But overall, that is a pretty damn bad episode. Tilting quite a little bit there. So that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.